Hello, this video is on using the Overleaf Editor for your LaTeX documents. So if you search Overleaf in Google or Bing, usually the first entry is the editor itself. And the one of the beauties of this editor, and I want to show it to you, is the collaboration. So here's the LaTeX document, and now it looks like two people and me, now three people, are, are all editing this document. Someone put in a section header, here's a subsection. When you render it, it added each of these sections, and multiple people can be editing the same document. That's one of the strengths of Overleaf, is for multiple collaborators on a same document. Okay, so I don't remember the plans and pricings, but I think a single account is free. If you want to use some of the advanced features, you'll have to pay a price. So like collaborations, an extra price, you sign up or you log in. <clears throat> so I'm going to log in on a different screen and then bring it back over. So now this is my area, and apparently I created some time plots a year ago, time series plots. So let's create a new project, and let's create an academic journal. Let's just use this one, open as a template, and here we are. And so it provides the exact template. Now, I didn't really want this much information, so I'm going to redo this again. Oh, that's some features. So we want to go menu. Nope. We want to go home. And I don't want that much junk in my <laughs> on my first project here. So let's create a new one. Let's do a uh, blank project. Let's give it a project name. So this is this is the project, okay? So right now there's one file in it called main text. You can rename it. First doc, you know, or first LaTeX you know, whatever you want to call it. And I hit enter, and now this is it. And we can add more files in here. Sometimes you have, like, the, the journal article or manuscript that you're writing. You might have a cover letter. You might have a bi bibliography in here. You might have graphics. So it, it's a container for everything in your project. But it starts this um, file here. And let's let's do this again. Let's make these um, 18 points. See, that's a little bit better to view. So it always starts with a document class, and then there's there's different options that you can put in here, like uh, your font size. We're not going to do that now because I'll, I'll probably mess it up anyway. So. We have a title, author, a, we can put in a date. If we leave this out, so I comment it out, it doesn't make, you know, it, 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 it renders whatever the date is that you're rendering. So we have a section here, blah, blah, blah. And let's run that. So here, what's interesting is to run it, you switch to let's um, it's compile. So right now I'm in editor uh, PDF format, and you can hit compile, and it and it just ran it. So over here, you have the title, the date, today's date, and introduction. Let's say I don't want the um, one I can, in the section. I can put a comment. And then I can come up and recompile. Now, I personally like to hit Control Enter, and then that's a way to automatically compile it. Notice it took off the, the uh, section numbering. Now, another thing I also like to do is go to Layout, and 
I hide the editor. Okay. So now it's a nice big editor and I can add additional information. So if I want to add a section, notice it pre-populates. I hit enter and this is the next section. Okay. And then more, you know, text. And then I hit control enter and it renders it. Okay. Now I come up here to switch to PDF view. And then this is the document that I just created. One of the beauties of this, first of all, you get to see it in big text as opposed to a side window. But one of the nice features is I can double click. Oh, notice the numbering. Right, introduction was not numbered. This one I forgot to. So I can double click this section and then it switches back to the editor where and specifically where I double clicked. So I want to put an asterisk. I hit control enter. I switch back to the PDF and boom, I'm right there. And now you can use this. So let's switch back to the editor. There's what's called a review. So you, there's a track changes. Oh, and that must be an extra feature. You have to add on track changes. And that becomes really important for when you're collaborating. People that make changes, you can kind of see the simulation that it tracks all deletions, additions. And so the main author or whoever's editing the main person in charge can go in and accept them. You can add comments. It's actually a super, super feature. You can also share your document. And again, so you could put in a, a uh, email here and invite them to edit. But I, again, I'm pretty sure that's an additional feature. And so this is it. And so as we proceed through the different commands, subsection and then first subsection, probably should capitalize that, right? Even more, blah, blah, blah. So, oh, here's another feature of LaTeX itself. Notice that I put two spaces in there. It doesn't care. It will treat that as one space. It knows the correct formatting of your document. So um, I need to not number it, so I'll put an asterisk there. I hit Control Enter and I switch to the PDF view. So notice that the section headers are larger and then these are smaller. But let's go back to these and number them just for fun here. So let's take the the asterisk out of the section and subsection headers, hit control enter, switch to the PDF view, and then the it's automatically numbered. And here's one of here's another thing. Let me look at the time. Eight minutes. So I'll show you one more thing and then I'm gonna call her quits. The beauty of this, everything is automatic. This subsection, assume pretend like it should have been in the first subsection. You just copy and move it. There's no worry about the numbering. So I hit Control Enter, switch to the PDF view, and look, it put the first subsection within the first section and numbered it appropriately. This automation of numbering of your figures, your tables, your automatic uh, table of contents, it, it's just, it's automatic. So let's make a I think it's TOC. Oh, there's a special package. So we'll get into that. Anyway, so this is a, a, just a quick introduction to the Overleaf Editor. Hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. And talk to you later.